everyone. Gonna... We're going to be picking out books. No? No. <laughs> you, just, you just choose the book. Wow, <laughs> cheesy. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Stephanie and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing the blindfold book challenge with my best friend, Dr. Shane Elliott Powers. He is not a doctor yet. <laughs> I got two years, two years. I'm in a PhD program. So a PhD candidate. I'm sorry. Yeah. Everyone, so, we're going to have an enlightening experience. Yes. So I have, basically, I have to guess the book and the author. Shane will describe them to me while I'm blindfolded. So for each book title I get right, I get two points. For every author I get right, I get one point. For a total of 15 points, five books, and I have to get 11 out of five points to win. Tell them my background about being an artist. <laughs> Shane is an artist, so he is going to be a genius at describing the covers. I also have a bowl of punishments here. She's gonna get them all. I will read them out to you so you know the stakes. And then we'll just get started. Yes. And this is gonna be torture. And we might have had a little bit to drink and it's okay. Okay, so the first one is A Kill Worker Lends Me a Book. Thank you, Shane and Giselle. I shouldn't have crumpled these. <laughs> <laughs> iron them out, girl. Iron them out. The next one is Read Clarissa, which is the longest book in the English language. Thank you, Giselle, our lovely camera person. Next, go to the library, the U.S. history section. Close your eyes and randomly pick a book. Thank you, jerk. Maybe you'll land on Stalin. That'd be good. Next one. is Read One of the Top Ten Worst New York Times Books. Thank you. You have to read the reviews, though. And I have to read the review, the reviews, and then Amazon. review it on my channel. Yes. Next is, cannot read another book until I finish A Memory of Light. Thank you, Angela, Roger, and Grace for that one. And finally, I have to go with an AI-generated recommendation. Thank you both. So, are we ready? We're ready, Freddy. Cheers. I keep taking a drink before we do the cheers. Well, recap, I have to get 11 out of 15 points to win. Okay. And I'm scared. You'll be fine. Okay, we ready? I also have a BFA, MFA, and I'm going to, for a doctorate, so good luck. <laughs> Third year. to, like, up degree so. me? Okay, first book. First book. Right. This is going to be so bad. I can already tell. This is great. Alright, you see it? No. That's good. <laughs> you see it? You see it close? Alright. Oh, you're talking to the uh. camera? <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a faint... Oh, God. ...watercolor outline. Okay. They have small eyes together. A little bow tie. A little multicolored going on. We have this like white cover here. And the house. A Day in like the Life of Marlon Bundo. All right, well. By sure. Jill Twist and John Oliver. She's presents. correct. <laughs> I knew it would be too okay. easy. Jeez. All right. No punishment for you, but good luck on the next one. Three points for me. It's only because I wrote your the water paper The watercolors gave it away. <laughs> okay. There's red dots. <laughs> okay. The ISBN is 978-0060888-3287. And I repeat... <laughs> Nine seven eight zero zero six zero eight eight three two eight seven. Okay. USA. It costs sixteen ninety nine. What's the texture of the cover? The twenty one dollars is Canada. Good luck. <laughs> okay. 
The texture of the cover is smooth like a baby. So not cloth bound? No, it's not cloth okay. bound. It has a little bit of an embroidery on top. It has this wonderful eagle looking primitive bird that is purple. Well, it's, it, it is. It's like, you know, and then they have this leaf a purple -like bird? texture. Leaf like texture and a snake looking thing that came from Adam and Eve. Is it Beasts of Ruin by Anna Gray? No. Damn it. Okay. Do you lose a point? Yeah, I lose yeah. a point. Oh, so I remember. So keep going, though. I'll read uh, one sentence. <sighs> William Kennedy, New York Times Book Review. <laughs> <laughs> if I read the back, she'll get it. Okay. So give me some more details. Death of a mythical town. Did you take that out of the living room? No. It has a history of a family. Does it have a red spine? No. It's amusing, magnetic, sad, and alive. What color is the spine? Green. Greenish blue. Is there any other description? <laughs> There's an old, wonderful human <laughs> on the back. A great photo. Oh no. A little historic. <laughs> he has a mustache and his hair is quite frizzy's issues. He needs a little frizzies. Um, he has a white collar. It's a collar? He has a white collar. And Oprah recommended this. You know Oprah. You gotta She did? Oprah's book club. I recommend a subscription. Please sponsor us. <laughs> Oprah, we love you. Okay, um, Oprah's book club. And it says P.S. Insights and interviews and more on the <laughs> corner. Uh, did you say it had green on the cover? Yes. The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. No, so nope. another lost point. Nope. All right, next you get well, a punishment. I get no. No. I have to add the points up to get the okay, punishment. Okay. 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 Fine. What's the? Don't look at it. She, no, because she laughs. I laugh. Okay, I get. I only have the one point left. The reveal. Oh. I mean, look at the man. <laughs> he literally won a Nobel <laughs> Prize for look, this. Look at those eyebrows, man. They're thick. They thick. Yeah. I wish I had them eyebrows. Mm, baby. He's well in brown. I would never, ever have any issues getting plucked. You totally missed my dad joke. They're well in brown. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It looks like Einstein. So we're one to one. Eyebrows. See, my, mine was a hard pick. Mine that was, was a good one, though. <laughs> that was a good description of it. It was eloquence. That was the artiste. All right. Area. Let's go. <laughs> rumble, rumble, and the tumble. All right. <sighs> yes. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. All right, y'all. Look at it, look at it, you see it? Mm. Hold it, <laughs> hold it. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. That was see a that very spine? sexy, like, mm. See the spine? <laughs> Maybe reverse. Make it at all sides, all sides here. Okay, so. I'm regretting this The already. Void in the Dark Abyss. It is, uh... <laughs> When I feel sad in oh Chicago for nine months, I think about this cloud. It looks a little greenish. Too abstract. And blue. Man. Abstraction is the perfection. Yeah. It has a little yellow on the color with the words and white in this horrible font. Someone should have designed this better. <laughs> Y'all don't use too many fonts. That's, a, it's that's called, very accurate. It's called, it's called typeface. Yeah. That this is why you got to be in your graphic design project. It has some trees in the yonder <laughs> site of the book cover on the right hand side in a hill. Some bees. I said some trees. Trees. Okay. Some trees. And it's got some smoky smoke all up on the cover. It's got one yonder light that's very dim. Oh crap. You may get hit by it. 
just like on green fried tomatoes. <laughs> Is there snow? Sap. There's no snow, but there's some heavy smoke, and I think that it might have an issue with the machine. <laughs> I'll read. How big of a book is it? It's a woman's journal. Did they you pick one of my it. bullet journals? I have no idea. It says ingenuity. Oh, okay. At its height, the idea is utterly novel. <laughs> Very real and keeps readers enthralled in guessing to the end. Times Literature oh, crap. Supplement. Is this a black and white cover? It has the... No. Okay. <laughs> It says it has murder in the title. Does it have a red spine? No. Murder in the title. It has a train. Oh, murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie? Yeah. I never said train. Because you started reading. You started reading. <laughs> she got it. She got it. Okay, two out of three, baby. Can I get a refill? I'll make it harder. Okay. That was easy on you. Right. You were not easy. The void in the abyss. <laughs> it's philosophical. Although, I will say now that I know what it was. <laughs> was that was a good description. That Ikea bag, yo. But make was... sure you go to Ikea. You can get that $15 <laughs> TV stand, man. We want sponsorship from everyone. I do want another Billy bookcase, Ikea, if you're watching. The one in the corner. Alright, y'all see this? Pretty good. Gonna, you know. All right. The spine. You have a very calming voice, despite the stress you're putting me under. The spine. Okay. This is vomit Remember, yellow it's color. Remember, typeface, typeface, not vomit yellow color. Mm, it's kind of like somber, but yet like relaxing. <laughs> yeah. I've seen like weird vine flowers on the bind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So many typefaces. Oh Lord help us. This a little digital on the front with a like a flower. And I will read a sentence. But he demands a terrible prize for his assistance. Every ten years, one young woman must be handed over to serve him with You're making it too easy, you No, I don't think she'll get it. Is this a Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood? Honey, you wish it was. We are living that right now. Okay, I lost a point, but keep going. No. The New York Times book review. There's a man in a window with an eye. He looks a little concerning. I don't want him to look at me. Abstractly, it was not good in placement. And then there's this little doohickey thing with a straw <laughs> and the like <laughs> chemistry thing from like the sixteen <laughs> hundreds. What y'all? No, no, no. Oh lord. The sixteen hundreds. Right, right oh there. Right, no, right, 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 right there. There. Let me there. See, let me see. Oh god. Is it a mostly white cover? No. It's a little yellowy, like pukey, three-headed dragon. I mean, the typeface is more. Is it a hardback or a paperback? Paper. You hear that? It's paper, baby. You gotta listen to it. ASMR. My ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm gonna do a new TikTok. You follow me, don't follow her. <laughs> <laughs> it has a sword. Is that how you say a sword? A sword? Sword? A sword? A sword? <laughs> Sword. Isn't that from a Aladdin? Sword. Okay, a sword. it looks it looks like it was I don't want to say There's medieval a white lady times, on the cover. But it's like a better rendition of medieval. She has is a it ring on her the finger. Eye of the World by Robert Jordan? No. No. You lost points. Okay. You lost a point. Keep going. It has these the awful one. lines in it. And I would never draw this like this. It has a big rose on the front with a hand. It's levitating with a ring and a woman and a sword. There's three dragons and some book flying books. And some uh, a man that's looking through a window and some chemistry shit. And there's an eagle, raven, falcon thing. And then there's this white lady that looks like they, she needs help. What? I, I've given you all of it. Girl, I've literally described all of the, <laughs> I don't own this all of the windows. All, all of the windows. Okay. All of the windows. 
And, it's and, and NPR paper. said, "Is it a trade paper? Heartbreaking, bag? thoroughly satisfying. Clear your schedule before picking it up because you won't want to put it down." The ISBN is it a trade paper? Is nine seven eight? It is trade paperback. Okay. ISBN nine seven eight dash zero dash eight zero four one dash seven nine zero five dash eight fantasy is that a beige cover no it's yellow like your yellow like a normal yellow like a yellow yellow like an age book yellow like you know it's old but not good but it's like mmm it's a little yellow like potato salad okay I give up oh son of a bitch he did describe it he I did just kind of he described it very well I haven't read that one <laughs> that was good you described so, it very well you lost. I, I did not get any points for that. No points, but you didn't lose anything. Cool. I gave you all the windows. So if I don't get any answers, I'm just not getting. Right. Okay. So we have two books left. Two books, yeah. Oh, uh, this is not going well. Well, you figured. You asked me. You're gonna have me. to do a punishment. I know. I feel like it should have been the Oliver twist with little Timmy. <laughs> Those are two that. different books. Whatever. It is two it's different the same books. Thing. They're both the same author. <laughs> did you call Tiny Tim Little Timmy? Yes, he did. Are they the same thing? No, no. it's not. It's different books. Charles oh, Dickens. My bad. Books. People that read. I'm a <laughs> the philosopher. Whole book community hurts I'm a philosopher. Right now. I think everything is multiple. Babe, they're not gonna Polyphonic. Do <laughs> there are some philosophers and got, got out to there. Read. Deleuze and Gattari. A Thousand Plateaus. Read it. I recommend it. It's amazing. Good luck. Okay. So the next book is... <laughs> Game show announcer voice. All right, y'all. It has purple on it. Okay. Like Barney. <laughs> we all are traumatized and also in loving of my family. <sighs> your family. So... <laughs> So, a purple dead body book in the shallow graves. Pressure from family and a bad boy. Oh, shit. Lula. And it has Stephanie sidekick. Is this a mass market paperback? I'm going to read a, a, a random page from the book. Is it a mass market paperback? It sounds like it. Am I right? I don't know, girl. Don't a mass market bad. is smaller. It has a, a trade on the paperback front. is like the uprooted size. It says New York. Bantam Books. <laughs> 2011. That didn't answer my question. It doesn't say it. A mass market paperback is the size. Oh, it's very small and it's papery. Oh, yeah, it is a mass market. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know. Trade trade paperback is like the size you just did on the previous book. Yeah, this is a mass market because it's right. like it's sold at like grocery stores. And stuff. I'll read okay. a page. 2.30. Frizzing. I check my iPhone for text messages. <laughs> One. From Connie telling me she was waiting oh, for no. a reply from Alpha Parole Officer. Oh! Keep going. Mr. Mikowitzi. Mikowitzi? Is this by Janet Ivanovich? You're correct. Okay. Keep going. Okay. Oh, shit. I lost the page. What else is on the cover? It's purple. And they have speckles, and it's 17. Sizzling 17 by Janet Ivanovich? No. You're close. 17 is it correct. Is that a guess? The New that York one Times guess, yeah. best-selling author, Janet Ivankovich. Ivanovich. Ivanovich. Ivankovich. <laughs> I mean, I'm dyslexic shit. Don't be. Sorry. You know? We gotta help the help the peoples. Anovich and Novakovich? Ivanovich. Ivanovich. Jesus. Ivanovich. I feel like we Edit need to take out. a shot every time you try to say it. Ivanovich. Right? Yeah, Ivanovich. Ivanovich. Seventeen. 
It's a plum novel. Stephanie Plum novel. Mm hmm. S 17. I know it starts with an S. I'm trying to think of what I it is. I will say, no, don't do that, Dave. I are just friends. In fact, we're <laughs> barely friends. That's not what I hear from Emma. I think he's taking with you. What? Gosh. I really, it's page 213. Oh my gosh. Gosh, I really like to talk more, but I was in the middle of scrubbing my toilet. <laughs> I've got to go. You gotta guess. You, oh, you should put like a meow, 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 meow. Scorching 17? Smoking. Smoking! Oh. Does that count? Does that, that's I like think, I think I'll give her, I'll give her half a Can point. Can I have a half a point? I yes. feel like you got the author. She got and the author. I think that's the main point. And I points. got a character. So you got a point. She got two and a half points. I got a character in the book, too. Yes. Okay, so then... Okay, two and a half. <laughs> okay. Da -da -da. So we have one left? Or t one and a bonus? Or two. what? No, no, no. We it have was, two. It three. was five. It was five. Okay. So we just did five. And this is the bonus one. Oh, we've already done five? No, we, we were... did not. Yeah, we did. Oh, wow. This is, this is the last oh, I'm gonna get a punishment. Ten. We can do more if you want. I don't care. Why are you digging? You gotta in? find that book, yo. What are you digging for? Take two. Take. Take three. Seven. Anyways. <clears throat> <laughs> a corset. Sucking the life out of this person. Not a corset. A corset. And you don't. I mean, yeah. A corset. I mean, do you know like what kind of cut that is? I don't know. Would you like to do it? <laughs> okay. A corset that makes her waist uh, negative zero. Okay. It's not not good for the health. So she is wearing like. I want to say she is a European woman, okay, but it's like in this awful time of, of history and colonization when they mm -hmm. appropriated clothing, which is a, not a term that we want to use, okay, but at the time it was known like Orientalism, right? So like that style of fashion, borrowing from that. So if you can imagine, I would imagine like European woman mm -hmm. with headwear, headdress type of situation that is pulling from the east. So I'm going to read an <laughs> excerpt from so Paige. think about a lady in a dress with a corset. That's navy blue. I want blue. to say, like, it's probably, like, 1700s. late 1700s. The style. Yes. Of the yeah, outfit. Of the of, piano. Yeah, okay. Okay. And I'll read from 280. History has recorded some very famous balls. At which the most illustrious persons in the world. <laughs> He's actually a ball. It's like a dance. I know. Not, like, not the. I, I was know. being politically I know. correct. I know. Let me re try this. Page. It's just the way you're describing sex killing. To a corset is just gonna kill me. History has recorded some very famous balls at which the most illustrious persons in the world have appeared. Cyrus the Great, we are informed, open a ball with the divine Madon at Sardis. Don't I'm laugh. So, I have a feeling the I have father is widowed. But like, they're always orphans, but it makes sense <laughs> because childbirth would kill women. All right, and we're going to go to the No, back. no, 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 no. Is it a paint cover? No. No. Okay, so the cover has this elongated man out of a f tulip flower. Oh my god, and looks he's, like being, he's, he's being, he's, he's he's being, being birthed tortured. out of a tulip, no, and he's, he's hanging on a thing, no, no. and then there's a feather on her head, and then and there, she has, she has a good, strong brows. No chin. The author. No, the cover. Okay, the person on the cover has no That's chin. It's a classic. Oh, crap. God help your soul. The binding is white. It it's has, all white. It's an it's Oxford, from Oxford World yeah. Classics mm -hmm. edition. She got a point for that. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's a Remind World Classic. Okay, so this is the bonus one. This is why it's the bonus one. Okay, so there's a, a European person with a corset. 
Okay, the corset is underneath the clothes. The like it's not visible corset. It's like okay. a corset, like obviously made. Well, look at this. The she sad has a man. blue dress on the top, you see the and man? then she has a white chemise or something underneath. A blue cool. dress on the top and a white chemise underneath. Like I don't know if that's the right term. Don't come at me, fashion that's history a... people, because I don't know the proper term. I'll I did read not the study first fashion page. history. But she has a white underdress or chemise. All right, hold on. Okay. The female. Is it a thick book or a The thin female book? is part of the uh, title. Oh, I know what this is, but I don't remember the author. It contains it's, a turn court, neither new or. It's the nor. female Quixote. You got it. But I don't remember the author because I haven't read it. You get. You get. One. Evie sent it to me. You get two, two points. Charlotte Leno. Yeah, we're going to read that in October, I think. <laughs> Book review that was. A, I am really surprised I got the cover art though. It's pretty good. Let me pause it. Okay. So what is my score? So your score is. Okay. <laughs> Five. Giselle Mira six. Diaz by here. Get in we here. Get in here. Six. We got. We got six. Oh, we got. Lord. We got six and a half points. Oh my god, that's so bad. <laughs> I get it. You were mean. Two artists. Two artists. Two artists. Mean. Yeah. Okay. Six and a half. I feel like I I give good descriptions. Don't come you, at me, you fashion both, historians. You I think I used the wrong the, term. The description for the last I one. Trying to be it really made the color, the cover come alive. Okay, what's your punishment? Oh. Read Clarissa. <laughs> one of your videos as you describe it to me i i commend you brave soul for Cheers, taking on the big above. the longest english language She's, book she i this. you know what i might start reading it with you mortal kombat round two good luck part two to come